Moving on, two Japanese scientists and one Japanese-born American won the Nobel Prize in Physics on Tuesday. They invented blue light emitting diodes, or LEDs. The Nobel Committee said the three scientists succeeded where everyone else failed. Their breakthrough replaced less efficient incandescent and fluorescent lights, and it spurred the development of technology that now lights up homes, computer screens, and smartphones. Well, on Monday, we told you about three more scientists who also won the praise of the Nobel Committee in the physiology or medicine category for their work that discovered the so-called inner GPS in the brain. An ecstatic My Britt Moser could barely contain herself when she heard the news in her hometown of Trondheim, Norway, that she would share the $1.1 million prize with her husband, Edvard Moser, and fellow British-American scientist John O'Keefe. Their combined work explains how nearly all creatures on Earth are able to map out a space to navigate our way through a complex environment and then store that information for use at another time. Earlier, we spoke to the Nobel laureate husband and wife research team from their lab at the Kavli Institute of Systems Neuroscience at Norwegian University of Science and Technology in Trondheim, Norway. Dr. Mybritt and Dr. Edvard Moser, welcome to Arise America. And let me start off just by saying congratulations. I can't imagine how thrilling this is and what an honor it is to receive a Nobel Prize. Um, does it feel like a dream right now? Yeah, yes. it's so <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> I love that. So let's delve into the science. And of course, just realize that uh, all of us that are listening to you are mere mortals and, and probably can't take too much detail. But let's go back to the work upon which your research was built. And that was the discovery uh, by your colleague, Dr. O'Keefe, uh, of this um, this, these cells in the brain that he discovered with the mice. So, uh, my Brett, let me start with you. Explain what he found in 1971 and why that was important to your work that you started doing uh, earlier uh, in this last decade. Yeah, so a place cell is a cell that is active when an animal or a, a, a person even uh, are walking around in the environment and then you can measure the small electrical fields of these cells and magnify that or amplify that 10,000 times. And then if this is a rat, and then we record such a cell, then you would hear whenever the rat is walking like this, then pop, 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 and then it's silent. And then the rat is coming back, pop, 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 silence. And with, with this uh, activity, then we learned from John O'Keefe when we uh, went to his lab in 1996 that uh, we have to find what input is coming to these uh, cells. So when we came to Trondheim, we had this question with us. We have to understand uh, uh, what, what kind of input is coming to, to them. And then we started to, to do a lot of uh, uh, explorative science and published a science paper first. And then we went to the antranocortex and we found uh, the grid cells. And so, Edward, will you help us understand the significance of this? As I've read in, I've read words like groundbreaking and how this might be a key to unlock the door, not only in understanding Alzheimer's, perhaps maybe uh, treating it one day. So can you give me the, the, the potential application of the work that you've done? Yeah, first of all, I would like to say that uh, what we're doing is is basic science. We try to understand simply how the brain works in all kinds of ways. Um, I think just understanding uh, how the brain works will help us to understand, to, to understand and to treat, in the end, a number of diseases uh, that are related to the brain. But uh, as you say, uh, Alzheimer's disease is particularly relevant. And the reason is that these cells that we have been working on, they are located in an area of the brain that is exactly the one that usually is first affected in Alzheimer's disease. So if we understand how these cells work in the normal brain, that's the first step and a necessary step towards understanding what goes wrong in diseases and in Alzheimer's disease. So I think Alzheimer's will be maybe the disease that is most directly uh, influenced by our work. Uh, but uh, I also think that just finding the fundamental principles of, uh, of brain function is, 
important in a number of ways that we can't predict. That's the really great value of basic science, that we don't know how it's going to be applied, but I'm totally confident that it will be applied in a number of ways in, in, uh, in uh, the decades to come. My bread, as I understand it, the work that you and your husband and Dr. O'Keefe, John O'Keefe have done, has been with studying the brains of mice, so with animals. So is it a part of your intention with your work to, to try to bridge then how this applies to the human brain? No, so we, we don't do that, and our groups, uh, especially in the States, uh, who are recording from humans and find uh, cells that uh, act like grid cells and play cells and so on. So we will stick to, uh, to animals, uh, I, I think, at least for, for our, our work. But it's, it's really exciting that these cells have been found in humans, I think. And also what we know, as Edward said, the Alzheimer's patients they have cell damage in this area and uh, of the entorhinal cortex. And we also know that the first symptoms that the, uh, the patients get is that they can't find a way. And uh, it's also affecting memory because the grid cells give input to the play cells in the hippocampus. And we use the play cells both to know where we are and to remember. So before I let you go, tell me how winning this Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine, uh, how this helps you with your work? Does this add pressure to learn more, to discover more, or does this relieve a little pressure with the affirmation that you've received from the scientific community? It's a stamp of... <laughs> Excellence. <laughs> but we will continue to do what we have been doing. We'll try to continue. It's, uh, I think that's the important part. And hopefully understand the brain even better. But of course, it's wonderful to have that recognition of the work. Doing such important work. And again, a hearty congratulations to you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So nice to meet you. Thank you. And you're watching Arise America.